Why don't you tell me how many... Playing alone, huh? Okay, can you give me your name? Okay, do me a big favor and pick which episode you want to play. Thirty seconds. Your buzzer is gonna be the letter B. Okay, okay, I'll pick it up a little. Let's go. Time to pick a category. Whoa. I believe this one is called, yet again, God's Busting Our Humps. How does $2,000 sound? All right, in case you haven't read it in a while, the Bible expressly forbids the practice of usury. Given the translation of usury, which of the following should be added to a contemporary biblical translation? It's yours if you want it. Usury is the practice of lending money with interest, something that the Bible condemns. So, good Christians and Jews will all go out and stone the loan sharks, and banks who charge a buck and a half to use an ATM. Category, please. Question alert. Question alert. This category is known as, not the big house, the cozy cottage. One thousand bucks if you get it. You want to know what I find misleading? That hard-ass prison called Sing Sing? Sounds like a nice enough place, right? Yeah, well, no such luck. Oh, if only there was some way to save the convicts the disappointment of finding out it's not all sing-song happiness there. Suppose that instead of serving their sentences in sing- Oh, damn it! I hate exercising with Buddhists! I want to play dodgeball, and all they want is to become one with the ball! What a bunch of- Duh! <laughs> uh, does this ring a bell? Xing Xing was the National Zoo's giant panda. Until he died. You know, he was the one they were always trying to get together with Ling Ling. I don't know, I figure the other prisoners won't mess around with you if they know you're a panda's sweet, sweet bitch. Throw me a category. Let's have a big warm welcome for Recess is a breeding ground for criminals. I'm gonna make this one a thousand bucks. Okay, take a look at this police report from the local schoolyard. Suspect caught attempting to relocate cylinder. Officer It placed him in custody. While doing so, an unknown person relocated the cylinder, causing a major jail. This is gonna end in tears. Let me show you what I would have picked. People in jail that are freed by relocating a cylinder? We call that kick the can, my friend. Of course, in my neighborhood, the other version was called kick the crotch. Usually, my crotch got to be it. Lucky me. Give me a category. Hey, stress cut with lime sore. It's time for a river fish stress cut. Take a look at this gibberish category. After our quarterback was vaporized. Let's get the ball rolling at 5K for this gibberish question. Okay, you're gonna have about 30 seconds to solve this thing, but every second and a half, I'm gonna take some of that cash back. Okay, tell me what this piece of useless gibberish rhymes with. The chap Donna missed. First clue, it's a punishment. Like, no dessert? It's a punishment that goes easy on the offender. Here's your last clue. Ow! My wrist! Alright, type the answer and hit return. See, that's what I like about you. After three clues, you give me something to laugh about. <laughs> you couldn't get that. I ought to kick your butt. Man, compared to that, I guess losing money is like the chap down a mist. Oh. Hey, you might think that's a nothing punishment, but let me tell you, a slap on the wrist can be incredibly painful if you have carpal tunnel syndrome. All right, I need a category. 
Let's see what we got going. That's what I call a stiff penalty. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. All right, get ready to buzz in and type your answer because we're going to play a little hangman here. And I'll even give you a hint. The answer is the hanging judge from the Old West. There you go. Now type in the letters that are missing from the hanging judge's last name. Judge who? You want it? You got it. Type in the The lights are on, but nobody's home. Too bad you didn't type this. <laughs> the notorious hanging judge of the Old West was Judge Parker. He ordered several executions every year. Word has it he had a real soft spot for a hung jury, too. Uh And our special guest tonight, go to jail. Go directly to jail. I'm going to give away 3000 bucks this time. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Money laundering is illegal? I mean, who hasn't washed some cash with a load of laundry, right? Money laundering which Monopoly bill will turn your undies pink? A $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $20 bill, or a $500 bill? Go for it! You big dummy. <laughs> Here's the one the winners pick. The $5 Monopoly bill is pink, so if it runs, it might just turn your undies pink. Not a problem for me, though. All my undies are already pink. And Lacey, did I mention the crotchless part yet? Throw me a cat. Well, what do we have here? I like my inmates extra crispy. Let's see what you'll do for a thousand bucks. Yep, that San Diego chicken is one hell of an entertainer. But I don't know how he keeps his cool with all those crazed fans. Imagine the San Diego chicken had to do some hard time, considering that it was the jail of the famous Birdman in which- Go on, do it! The Birdman of Alcatraz was an inmate who became a world authority on birds. All right, Mug, that bird mask is coming off right now. Oops. Well, I guess it wasn't a mask. Ew. Category, please. This one's called Nursery Rhymes and Petty Theft. This one can get you $6,000. Okay, I love this part. You know that game, Who Stole the Cookies from the Cookie Jar? Schmitty stole the cookies from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Um, uh, Cookie stole the cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> See how much fun that was. So, what game would Jean Valjean from Victor Hugo's omnipresent Les Miserables play? Who stole the chicken? <laughs> Take it, it's yours. I'm sorry, children. Please don't feed the loser. Hey, if you got a minute, take a look at this. Jean Valjean is initially sentenced to five years of hard labor for stealing a loaf of bread. Oh, I love Broadway musicals. Where else can you spend 80 bucks to watch a guy steal a loaf of bread? And hey, when you leave the theater, for just 40 bucks more, you can watch a guy take your wallet. Well, I hope you're all rested up, because you're about to take on a dis or dat. This dis or dat's category name is, I rocked the law, and the law won. Okay, now I'm going to read off seven last names, and for each one... Hey, you know what to do, no problem. Here's your 30 seconds. It's showtime. Bellamy, Supreme Court or MTV? O'Connor. Kennedy. Ginsburg. Loader. Scully, uh. One more. What? Head. That's all we got. Five long. That's not gonna do much good. Okay, the next one won't be so hard. Not as many buttons to push. All right, I need a category. The category? Row, row, a mofo boat, what up? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Ah, uh, poor death row records. Remember when Dr. Dre, Snoop Doggy Dog, and Nate Dog all left the label? Yeah, of course you do. Because you've got a mad knowledge of the gangster rap scene, right? If all those gangster rappers left death row to head on over to music row, what would they most likely be doing? It's yours if you want it! 
Uh, I think the Rockettes have the kicking pretty much covered over at Radio City Music Hall, and apparently your head's been getting in the way. I could have given you some cash if you picked this one. The Grand Ole Opry in Nashville is known as Music Row. Yo, yo, what's up? Me and my f***ing homies chilling at this Grand Ole f***ing Opry bunch of freaking Time to pick a category. Today's specialties include crime doesn't pay. It earns frequent flyer miles. 4K coming your way for a right answer. Hey, you know that movie Con Air with all those dangerous convicts on a plane together? Yeah, must have been hell for the flight attendants. Suppose you're a flight attendant on an all-convict Con Air flight. Given it's known to have calming effects, which airline meal will you highly... I'll tell you what, this'll be our little secret. <laughs> for the curious, here's the right answer. Pasta and other complex carbohydrates have a tranquilizing effect. Unfortunately, the convicts also asked for 14 cups of coffee each. Now you have a problem. All right, pick a category. The category is detention al dente. We're talking 6K here, so pay attention. Let's see how you handle this one. If you're literally sentenced to 40 lashes with a wet noodle, which of the following will not inflict the sharp sting of pasta across your back? Linguini, risotto, so... Take it, it's yours! What the hell are you thinking? Should've picked this one. Risotto is a rice, not a pasta. So, if somebody's whipping risotto at you, it's a wedding. Which is a punishment that will last a hell of a lot longer than 40 lashes. Give me a category. Let's take a look at My Guitar is Sorry for the Pain It Has Inflicted. If you know this one, you're getting 4,000 bucks. Okay, fact. Frank Zappa's got this song, My Guitar Wants to Kill Your Mama. You heard of it? Suppose your mama's killed and Zeppa's guitar is a suspect because it's not from a guitar, which piece of crime scene evidence would point to another? Now, a G-string is found on a guitar. Of course, if Zeppa's guitar has a good lawyer, the case could be made that it was your mama's G-string. <laughs> the correct answer is... There ain't no C-string on a guitar, but there is a C-string on some other stringed instruments. Cello. Huh? Cello? Yeah, I don't doubt it. Oh, God. I remember once I walked into my mother's bedroom and the, the cello was between her legs and <laughs> she had her hands all over its, its fingerboard. Oh, God, it was horrible, and yet I couldn't look away. Category, please. Coming at you, that chamber's a gas. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. So you've heard how on the night of an execution, the condemned prisoner gets a big last meal, right? Well, given what cyanide gas smells like, that's the way you do it. Cyanide smells like almonds, though I'd love to know who was the idiot who volunteered to find out. You're about to- Oh, you already know the attack. Well, don't let me stand in your way. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Latins have dark roots. Good luck getting to the root of this jack attack. See ya.
Hey, not bad considering you played by yourself. Let's see what you did to your score. That's it. Wow, player, you ended up with less than nothing. It's a good thing you didn't have any competition because then everybody would know that. You don't know, Jack! Hey, if you think this episode is a keeper, hit F and save it on your favorites list. I hear they're even... Hands up! We gotta do it all again! From the top, folks! Alright, you know what to do. Throw me a category. Hey! Here we have son of a You give me a right answer, I'll give you 3,000 bucks. Pencils ready. Let's do it. If you were having the son of Sam over for dinner, which of your pets would you want to lock in the bedroom? Why, that answer is wronger than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> Can I have my medicine now? <laughs> Why didn't you pick this one? <laughs> the son of Sam, or David Berkowitz as he's known to his fellow inmates, told police that his neighbor's dog told him to go out and kill people. Of course, that's also his excuse for drinking out of the toilet. Open wide and get ready for more gore, more gore. Get this one right, you get a grand. Okay, you know that song about it's my party and I'll cry if I want to, right? Yeah, very touching. If Al Gore were to do a duet of it's my party with the song's original sing- Go on, do it! It's my party was first made a hit by my close personal friend, Leslie Gore. Of course, for the duet, Al would want to add that certain... Well, I'm sure Al would have something to add to the new version. Alright, pick a cat. For your enjoyment, a man with nothing to lose is called a loser. You're looking at $3,000 on this one. Put it in gear, because here we go. Imagine a big action movie called Extreme Unction. How would the preview most likely start? Go for it! See, and then you wonder why I don't bring my friends over. Okay, now here's a good answer. Extreme Unction is the Catholic sacrament of last rites given by a priest. Take this in memory of me. All right, I need a cat. We're calling this one. Did you pack angles and cream cheese? You get it right, you get 2K. Okay, free your mind. Suppose Karl Marx goes on a picnic and starts preaching to the ants around him. Given his theories, which ants would most likely be inspired to rise up and take control of his basket? Take it, it's yours. Marx called for the rise of the proletariat, or working class. But only the red ants pay any attention to him. Category. Well, very nice pick and get ready to play a when did happen. All right, I'm going to show up. Oh, oh, okay, you already know how to play. That's fine. The category for your when did happen is easier than remembering your children's names. Okay, everybody remember that slogan about how to build a Big Mac? Take a moment, hum it to yourself. You know, to all beef patties, on and on. Now, what's a Big Mac or a Big Mac jingle without this ingredient? Cheese, baby. Now tell me, does this appear before cheese in the Big Mac jingle, after cheese, or does it never appear in the jingle at all?
Okay, let's take a look at the damage. Well, that was kind of a lukewarm showing. Let's see what that does to your score. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the show, shall we? Give me a category. May I introduce... Kitty, got your tongue? I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. Heads up, here it comes. If Hello Kitty said hello in her native language, what the Hello Kitty was originally developed in Japan, so she would meow the Japanese word for hello, konnichiwa. <laughs> of course, that's going to be a little difficult because she doesn't have a mouth. Throw me... For your viewing pleasure, what a bunch of nonsense. You get it right, I'm giving you $1,000. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Which of these is an example of personification? Burly boys burrow boisterously for boogers. Go for it! I'm sorry, did you say something? What do you say we check out the right answer? Personification is when you attribute human abilities like leaping to non-human things like, I don't know, zits. And grossification is when you ask questions about popping zits and boogers and scabs just to see if you can make people vomit or not. All right, pick a... Shake hands with Legion of the Doomed. One right answer and you got $6,000 coming at you. She's pissed. He's pissed. We're, We're pissed. pissed. So pissed about a question. We're pissed about... Okay, this pissed about a question letter comes to us from Mike H, a.k.a. Man of a Thousand Nicknames, and boy, is he pissed about a superhero dis or dat question that we did. He writes... Black Manta's name zoomed in front of me. Imagine my surprise when I went to press button 2 for villain and had money taken away from my score. How is the man who killed Aquaman's son a hero? Do those of you at You Don't Know Jack support the slaughter of children? Mike, you're right. Supporting the slaughter of innocent children is not what we're about here. We don't support the slaughter of innocent children any longer, do we? Okay, good. In fact, we consider defamation of any superhero's name to be an insult to all of America. Nay, to all of humanity. Which is why I ask this question. Given that it involves a superhero's actual problem, which of the following insults would Mike, defender of all superhero reputations, have the hardest time refuting? Hulk ain't as big as his gambling debt. Spider-Man can't read his own name. Thor wets his bed like a baby. Or Iron Man... Hi, Iron Man! Word on the street is, Iron Man lives up to his name by having quite the soft spot for the boiler maker. But, you know, think about it for a minute. I mean, other superheroes have their X-ray vision and their super strength and cool cars. But who are you going to call when the fate of the free world depends upon a game of quarters? Huh? All right, I need a category. All right, give it up for mocking the irrational fears of others equals fun. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. And now, your question. Who would make the worst blind date for someone suffering from gymnophobia? Go on, do it! Yeah, gymnasts make rotten dates because of those high squeaky voices. And the women are even worse. <laughs> well, that'll make an exciting story, won't it? Gymnophobia is the fear of nakedness. So, someone who suffers from it wouldn't want to date a nudist. I dated a nudist once, and come to think of it, her name was Jim. Time to pick a category. Well, what do we have here? Kids make every C the yellow C. How does $4,000 grab you? So, I started taking these swimming lessons. And they put me in the group with all the eight-year-olds. You know what that means. A lot of pee in the pool, and it's not all mine. Suppose you want to swim without feeling pee. And quite frankly, who doesn't? Considering it's got the most water to dilute pee, where will you go? The Arctic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean? It's yours if you want. The mighty Atlantic has got almost a quarter of the world's water. Unfortunately, it's also got Bethy, a six-year-old from Cape Cod, known among her peers as the Mad Bladder. 
Throw me a category. Uh-oh, fresh slut tits eyesore. It's time for a Flipper Dish Mess Fun. One gibberish category coming up. Attack with a deadly body part. You move fast, you can get 10,000 bucks on this gibberish question. All right, listen up. Every second and a half, some of that cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to move quick. So now take a look at this gibberish phrase and see if you can tell me what it rhymes with. All breasts up and go face duo. And don't get fooled by any punctuation. First clue, it's when you put on your best clothes, just like me. It's when you put on your best clothes, but you've got nowhere to show them, just like me. Okay, see, I'm dressed, but I've got nowhere to go, okay? Now's the time to type in your answer and hit that return key. Wow, that's amazing. Your answer has some of the same letters as the right answer. Trust me, it sucks to be hall breasts up and go face duo. Oh. Although I have to say, you always look so nice in that special little outfit you wear for playing computer games. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Give me a kiss. This one's called Dear Diary. Ah! 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Say hey, what have I got here? Looks like I got a diary entry from 1876. It's really amazing what you can find in a sound booth if you look really hard, huh? Let's see, it says we're at Little Bighorn. They'll never know what hit him. It's all about the element of surprise. Sitting Bull will rue the day he ever met. Oh my freaking God! Take it, it's yours! Sherman, tanks, but no tanks. Here's the one you didn't pick. That was General Custer who wound up getting himself and all his troops massacred at Little Bighorn. So, chalk one up for the home team. You know, the original home team. All right, pick a category. Let's have a big warm welcome for IHOP to IHOP. Sit up straight, this one's gonna be worth $6,000. Okay, you wanna know what I did for myself today? I went to IHOP and I treated myself to a Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity breakfast special, baby. Suppose instead of a Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity breakfast special, I'd had a Rudy Tootsie fresh and fruity breakfast. <laughs> Gee, you know, I don't see that answer very often. It's kinda toot uncommon. You want to see what the smart money says? Uh, the Tutsi are natives of the African country of Rwanda. Problem is, they totally disagree with my bowl of Hutu pebbles. All right, I need a category. Ow. I believe this one is called, when in Mexico, do as the Romans do. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. See if you can wrap your skull around this. Which TV character would most likely look for ovnis while vacationing in Mexico? It's yours if you want it! No, Huggy Bear never leaves the United States, nor the 70s. So you don't lose any sleep over it. OVNI is the Spanish word for UFO, and I know you've seen X-Files. Mulder thought he saw an OVNI once, but it turned out to be a mule wearing a sombrero. Been there, done that, let's get on with the attack. Here's your clue. Three men and a what? Hey, don't ask, don't tell.
Nothing to write home about, but that's too shabby. Let's see your score. That's the game. Damn, think about it, player. If you'd have gotten just one or two more questions right, I could still tell you that you stink, but you wouldn't have to agree with me. Oh, and while I'm pouring salt in the wound, 